Um, we're going to move on uh, to our fifth presenter. So we've got uh, seven in total today. Um, John Scott is the CEO and co-founder of ScopeStack, a B2B SaaS solution simplifying IT service scoping and pricing worldwide. With a background in business and technology, he's dedicated to streamlining operations and fostering growth for IT service providers. Having recognized these challenges during his tenure as a managing solution architect at Dimension Data. John, the stage is yours, my friend. Cool. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, so as Matt mentioned, uh, my name is John Scott. I'm one of the co-founders over here at Scopestack. And again, prior to starting Scopestack a little over six years ago, I was an engineer scoping out project-based work, uh, managed services agreements, and you know, working from multi-billion dollar organizations down to you know smaller organizations. I had spreadsheets and word templates essentially. So, you know, our big opinion on this whole thing, right? Really just to boil it down, is that we believe that language in a statement of work should be driven by and have some correlation to the level of effort and tasks that are being scoped right i know it's a novel idea but um, everything that we could find in the industry and all the tools we had available to us those two things were very disconnected and so um you know that causes inaccuracies miscommunications delayed projects to name a few you know with that right like Traditional tools fall short. So I, you, we used to be a big Salesforce shop. Um, we had access to proposal automation. As we've been engaging the MSP community the past six years as well, like there's some great products out there, right? Like Cell and Zomentum, um, Quoter. There's just a bunch of really good stuff. Um, however, it, it was not solving the problem that we were trying to solve specifically in that pre-sale space right there in that uh, kludgy area that you can see in the graphic, right? Sales had their tools. Project management had their PSA tools, project management tools, pre-sales in terms of how we're scoping and pricing everything out. It was, you know, if we had proposal automation, we still had to use a spreadsheet. If we had a spreadsheet, we didn't have a way to associate language. So there's just this massive disconnect between that sales, pre-sales and post-sales process um, that we feel very strongly about solving. Right. And again, if, you know, you're pie, if you're paying these engineers a lot of money, you don't want them spending days, hours, copying and pasting, doing a whole bunch of back and forth, you want them engaging with their clients or your clients. So again, our solution, which again, a breakout will provide a, a, a deeper dive demo. Um, but the purpose of our platform is really to combine that SAL language component and the services costing. So as I'm saying, we're doing you know layer three, layer two, or BGP, whatever it is in terms of what we're scoping and what's in scope. There's language potentially associated to each one of those things that when we click a button, we generate a, a statement of work that is consistent and it's presenting one voice to our clients, which is our voice as an MSP or an IT services company and not Timmy's voice and Jimmy's voice. Right. So we want to present that consistent voice. And with that, we also have the ability to then uh, automate, you know, the creation of a work breakdown in your PSA. So, again, I quite honestly, was not a, a large ConnectWise user prior to starting this business. Um, as we started to engage more and more customers, we started to realize, hey, it's very painful to go from a scoped engagement that already took a really long time to um, creating a project plan, tickets, tracking all that information to get some sort of meaningful data uh, on a post-project analysis. So how do we make that really easy? Well, now there's a click of a button um, from scope stack directly into ConnectWise Manage, Autotask, and Halo PSA is something we're about to launch in the next couple of weeks. You know, so I like to break this down to a couple of different use cases, right? So as I talked about sales, pre-sales, post-sales, sales is always asking for speed because we all know time kills deals. Um, and so if we can turn around a statement of work, a services estimate, some sort of something right back to the client, in a shorter amount of time than our competitors, we have a much higher chance of winning that business as opposed to the way I used to do it, which was, right, it would, you know, I'd have a meeting, gather the requirements, drive home, you know, a couple of days later, right, we would get something back to the client and it was inconsistent every single time. So we're going to be able to drive that speed through ScopeSec. Pre-sales accuracy, as I mentioned, Jimmy and Timmy, <laughs> no offense if your name is Jimmy and Timmy, but um, we want to present one voice to our clients and we want it to be technically accurate um, and we want to have consistent language and accurate level of effort or pricing. 
right? So we talked to a lot of MSP owners where the CEO is still the one responsible for scoping these projects out because he, she is uncomfortable with an engineer coming in and scoping that effort. So what we give you the, the ability to do, whether you're leveraging our service catalog that you import into your platform or you're creating that um, those standards yourself in the platform, the idea is that regardless of who is scoping that work, you'll get um, some consistency back to the client. Again, another you know very valuable use case is a, a really aligning that scope with the team that's going to be executing that scope. So as we start scoping out, you know, a large network refresh or managed service onboarding, right? We want to make sure that all the work, the tasks that we scoped in that project are aligned with what the engineers are going to actually deliver, right? And so um, whether that's an export from scope stack that you can manage, or if you have a PSA, like we were talking about earlier, pushing that and automatically creating the tickets and tasks in your PSA. So there's that alignment. Um, it's something that has drawn a lot of value, provided a lot of value to a lot of our organizations that are on the platform today. So speaking of that, you know, it's amazing to think that going from an, an engineer scoping a project, having a problem, um, that we'd be at 2,300 users, over 40,000 projects have been scoped um, in our platform to date. And we have users, um, customers in over six countries. So again, going from someone that was scoping this, experiencing this pain, we want to be the platform that doesn't do everything, quite honestly. We want to focus on this niche and allow you to scope and price projects more consistently and accurately than you were before, i.e. driving a better business. So if you're interested in joining us in our breakout a little bit later, we would love to have you join us to see a live demo of the platform, plus a special $500 offer, which we'll tell you about it when you join us. Excellent. Thank you, John.